you for clicking on this video. Welcome back to my 12 looks of Christmas series. We are here with look number 10. We've only got two more tutorials to go after this one. So I really want to include this rose gold glam as part of my series. We've done gold, we've done silver, we've done bronze, we've done... Is that all of them? We've done gold, silver, a bronze. So it's only right that we include a rose gold makeup tutorial. I love how this has turned out. I feel like it looks so glowy. I mean, look at that highlight shining <laughs> so if you want to see how i created this makeup look then please keep on watching so i have done a similar look on my channel before i have done a rose gold glam one previously but i'm just going to change it up a little bit and do it a little bit different to how i did the last one. Oh, still not got my eyebrows done Demi, demi, demi. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Iconic London Day to Slay palette. That I've just thrown on the floor. Okay, we'll try that again. So I'm going to take the Iconic London Day to Slay palette. And I'm going to take shade top to top, which is this brown shade here. And just start putting that all over the eye area. So I cannot believe that I've only got two more looks left after this one in the series. I, I would like to, well... Part of me feels like it's gone really fast and part of me just at some point thought, oh my God, I'm not even halfway through yet and it feels like I've done loads. I don't know if anyone kind of knows a lot about what goes into makeup tutorials and sort of sit down YouTube videos. So for filming, usually it takes, I would say it takes about 20 minutes to set everything up and then get everything ready. Then about an hour to film maybe an hour and a half just depends on the look that you're doing so before i carry on waffling we'll go on to the next shade so i'm going to take shade deep soul which is this really dark brown color just start popping this in the outer corner and the crease so it's about 20 minutes to set up um an hour to an hour and a half to film depending on the makeup look whether it's complicated or if it's quite straightforward then you obviously have to edit so to edit a video that's about an hour's worth of footage can take anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours ish then you obviously have to export it and um, so what kind of time frame we're we up to now so 20 minutes setting up i'm going to say an hour and be be, be a little bit more reserved with that answer just because generally it's an hour but it can run over so an hour and 20 then editing at least an hour and a half so that's three hours what's after that so editing then exporting it so you have to wait around 20 minutes to half an hour ish to export it so that is four hours after that you have to upload it to youtube and usually whilst i'm waiting for that which takes about another half hour I have to create the thumbnail and then create the description. So that's it, ready to sort of press go on YouTube. So we're at four and a half hours. And then you have to promote on Instagram, TikTok, whatever, like wherever you usually promote it, Facebook. So that's at least another half hour. And then applying to comments. So that is about six hours work, I would say. And that's for... A 10 to 15 minute video so as you can obviously understand posting every day for 12 days that's at least six hours a day sorting all of the footage out which obviously I enjoy doing it I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it there was a day where I didn't feel like filming so I didn't do it I'm not gonna do something that I'm not enjoying I just wanted to give a little bit of an insight into kind of the time that it takes to produce a video. Okay, so before I carry on waffling, I'm gonna put the pigment on now. So I'm using a Barry M Dazzle Dust and the shade has rubbed off this. So I'll see if I can find it. It's basically a gorgeous rose gold color. So I'm just gonna spray this flat Morphe brush generously with a facial spray or a hydrating spray. And then we're just gonna dip it into the pigment, tap off the excess back into the jar and start to apply that to the lid. Yeah, so that is for a sit down video. So like a sit down video is what you would class this as a makeup tutorial or where someone's sat doing an unboxing or even a haul, I would say, even though it doesn't, it's not necessarily a sit down video, the actual concept of it is different to that of a vlog. Now, vlogs are different. Vlogs do not take, a, don't take as much work. They really don't. They are easier to edit and obviously they do take up time 
but it is kind of stuff that you're already doing. Don't get me wrong, vlogging is not easy. Well, I say not easy, it, it does take a lot of time and dedication and stuff like that. It can be challenging, especially if you're not used to doing it, like I, I'm only still just getting used to doing that. I forget all the time, it's really bad. The reason why I'm highlighting that is just because I thought it was really interesting that when I was watching YouTube before I started doing it, you don't realise just how long it really takes to produce a video, especially, like I said, the sit-down ones, um, and even the vlog ones, they do take up your time and a lot of dedication. I just thought it'd be really interesting for people to know that, because I didn't know that, and I used to get frustrated sometimes if people for example didn't upload or they would say oh this is taking ages or whatever I used to think oh you're just making up an excuse but actually they're not it does take a lot of work. I'm just going to go over that pigment the VIP vibes um, from the Iconic Day to Slay palette just to give it that little bit more of a pinky tone and now to just make sure that's blended We're gonna go back in with deep soul to blend the two together now for lashes I'm going to use some budget lashes today. So these are I think you say Jamir. I got these off Amazon a while ago I don't think they have a, a Style on them. They look really odd in the packaging the actual style of them But they look really nice and wispy and natural when they're on. I'm just gonna pop the duo lash glue See they just add a nice little bit of a to the lashes but they're super wispy I love these if you really like don't want to wear proper full lashes but you want a little bit of extra volume these are your thing for foundation I'm going to take the Maybelline Superstay and this is in shade 36 warm sun and then just apply with a brush for concealer I'm going to use the Maybelline age erase and I'm just going to put that onto my under eye and then just blend out with my ring fingers. So now that concealer's on, I'm just going to set it with the Fenty Beauty Butter Powder. I'm not going to bake today, I'm literally just going to set it with my brush. For contour, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in shade 210. Every time I do my forehead now, I think about the girl and the makeup artist in my reaction video. Um, if you've not seen it, I'll link it down below. But I basically did a reaction video of um, people who went to the worst rated makeup artist in their city and she asked her to put it on her forehead and she was really confused the makeup artist she was like why them hairs there will hide it she was honestly so cocky um it's just it, every single time i do my makeup now when i do that step i think about that makeup artist and the girl then just blending that out with the brush that i used to apply the foundation just to make sure it's all nice and blended take a small detail brush and go back in with deep soul which is the dark brown that we used on the outer edge to put that on the under eye so onto brows now and i'm just using the makeup revolution brow stick that i got um, i've used this in my last couple of tutorials as i'm wanting to try it out i haven't had any issues with it I actually really like it so I would definitely recommend trying this product out but also whilst you are here I meant to mention earlier I actually posted a giveaway on my Instagram today so if you want to enter that giveaway I'll pop a link to my Instagram down below I'm just going to use the Excess Revolution um, brow gel too I'm just going to take the Kiko Milano cream blush and I'm just going to this is in shade a one and I'm just going to pop that onto my cheeks before applying powder blush over the top so I'm just going to go over my face with a Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder and this is just to smooth everything out lock everything in highlight I'm going to take this Colourpop highlighter um, and this is in shade it's rubbed off now see if I can find it it's basically more of a pink toned highlighter which obviously will fit this look a little better and I'm just going to take that onto a fan brush apply like so it's a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter this now we've got mascara and lips to go but I'm just going to set the face with the wet and wild Bretman rock spray so for mascara I'm just taking the elf 3-in-1 and popping that onto my lashes now for lips, I actually have some new products to try out. So these are the brand new lipsticks that Beauty Bay have just launched. Very kindly gifted me a couple of shades from their new lipstick collection. These are stunning. You know how much I love Beauty Bay products. I rave about them all the time on my channel. And these are no exception. I 
oh, look at how incredible they are. The quality is great and they're so inexpensive. I haven't tried the formula yet, so we're gonna try that together for the first time and I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion. They sent me two shades from their new range and these are Freckle and Tea. Freckle has a slightly more brown tone to it, whereas this is a little bit more pinky toned. I'm gonna go with a brown one today just because I feel like it'll suit this look just down to a T. I've also got one of their lip liners and their lip gloss as well to try out. So I'm gonna start off with their vintage lip liner and this is a really deep brown. Wow, I haven't actually tried any Beauty Bay lip liners before and these, these are incredible. I am really impressed with this. It feels really creamy. I love this. This is giving me major Morphe lip liner vibes like it feels exactly the same like it feels really creamy I would even say it's probably slightly more pigmented and you know how much I love the Morphe lip liners we're going to go over the top of that with the lipstick freckle wow so this is a matte lipstick which usually would be very dry in but it feels creamy, it's not dried out my lips. And that shade goes beautifully with that lip line. If these last as well, this will be a winner for me. Obviously, lipstick going on and being a pretty colour and feeling great is one thing, but the lasting power is another. So we're going to test that out and I'll see how I get on with it. So I'm going to top that off with the Beauty Bay Ballet Lip Gloss. Oh yeah. Oh my god, what a combo. Oh my god, I love that combo. If you really like like a brown toned lip, this is the combo for you. That gloss, I was going to say tastes amazing, but I mean smells amazing. But it's kind of in my mouth, do you know what I mean? You get what I mean, you get it. And here we have the finished look. I love this makeup look. This pigment has been a favourite of mine for literally years i've had this pigment for years pigments are so underrated if you want a really beautiful look when you're using shimmer get a pigment the peaches makeup pigments are incredible this barry m dazzle dust is incredible um what else have i tried the nyx ones are really good as well i just feel like if you want something glam and something to pop pigments are the way forward eyeshadows i feel like can only do so much so i live for a pigment when it comes to any kind of shimmer in my makeup routine i hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I hope you like the finished look. So we have two more tutorials to go in the 12 looks of Christmas. Kind of sad a little bit that it's coming to an end. It's been so much fun, but I think that it's time to come back away from the daily uploads of makeup tutorials. I'm going to release some vlogs in the next couple of weeks, some more Christmassy festive stuff, some unboxing stuff. So if you want to see those, please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to be notified. And I hope to see you here again soon. Thank you. Thank you.